Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In today's video, we're going to learn how to use image blending to improve night shots. Nighttime, when all the neon lights, screens, and billboards are lighted up, are really a sight to behold in many cases. Unfortunately, if you don't come at the right time, like just a few minutes after sunset, you'll find that it's a challenge to properly expose both the bright lights and surroundings due to the lack of dynamic range in your camera. In this video, I'm going to show you how to overcome this difficulty by using exposure blending, or as it is sometimes called, digital blending, to produce photos with greater dynamic range similar to what your eye can see. We're going to use some of the powerful features of Affinity Photo 2.0, such as layer masks, luminosity range masks, and compound masks. But before we go into that, let's first understand what is exposure blending. Exposure blending is a post-processing technique used by photographers which involves combining multiple images taken with different exposures using an image editing program like Affinity Photo for the main purpose of overcoming the limited dynamic range of the camera. It is an alternative to HDR which may produce over-processed results if not done properly. Exposure blending allows you to have more control over the final image and allows for results that are more natural and realistic than HDR. We are going to be working with two exposures. The first image overexposes by two stops in order to properly expose the surroundings, while the second underexposes by two stops to properly expose the highlights. Note that despite being a raw file, reducing the exposure shows that there is no detail present in the highlights, which further demonstrates the limited dynamic range of the camera and the difficulty of capturing all the tones present in the scene when shooting at night. Brightening the shadows also doesn't have a pleasing effect and will increase the visibility of noise in the shot. So the option we're going to be using is image blending. Before we do the actual blending, Let's enhance the underexposed raw image and bring back even more detail into the lighted billboard. Since this is the raw file, I'll use the develop persona and the overlay panel to perform some local adjustments to underexpose the lighted billboard. Now that that's done, next let's make sure the images are aligned. As you can see, Close inspection reveals that the two images are not aligned, probably because I shot these images handheld. To compare, lower the opacity of the top layer so you can inspect the alignment of the images. Let's use the Move tool to align the images. There, that's much better. Now let's create our mask. Make sure the darkly exposed raw file is at the top while the brightly exposed raw file is at the bottom. First thing we will do to create our mask is to add a compound mask. This will give us the flexibility to add a secondary mask on which to improve our mask later on. If you don't know what a compound mask is, you can watch my previous video on this topic. Now let's add a luminosity range mask. Drag the luminosity mask inside the compound mask. And let's adjust our curve. We want our curve to result in a mask where the areas with neon lights and the lighted billboard should be in white, while the rest of the image should be in black. Make sure to check preview so you can view the mask. So let's drag the curve to best fit that requirement. So this mask is looking pretty good. Now if we view the resulting image, you can see that the blending worked. However, the result is not pleasing at all. And that is because the mask has too much detail. What we need is less detail and a smoother transition between tones in the mask. We can achieve this by blurring the mask. As you can see, blurring smooths out the details and allows for a more pleasant result. The blending looks good, 
But the great thing about Affinity Photo and its compound masks is we can add a secondary mask to improve the luminosity range mask. In this case, I want to brighten the white areas of the luminosity range mask to bring out more detail in the highlights. So to do this, let's first add an empty mask. Let's drag the empty mask inside the compound mask. Make sure it is located at the top inside the compound mask. Now let's use a white paintbrush and paint white in those areas of the mask. We want to be brighter so as to emphasize the beautiful lights. As a reminder, the compound mask will add the tones from the luminosity mask. Note that the tones in the top layer is added to the tones in the bottom layer through the default add operation. Finally, let's merge the layers and apply some sharpening and clarity. So here is the before and the after. Before and the after. As you can see, it's a big difference. More like what I saw in the scene. So I hope you found this video helpful. Do let me know if you use other software for image blending. I'd like to hear from you. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.